This is Aviv and Jared from West Coast Shaving, and we're here to talk to you about Yaki brushes. I'm here to talk about Ferraris, and I want to start off with the Ferrari Yaki brush. I think we can only talk about the Ferrari Yaki brush today, <laughs> and I'll be fine. Uh, I'm, I'm really here, right, as an expert on Ferraris, Aviv. <laughs> so, let's talk about these three brushes. All right, great idea. So we have, like Jared mentioned, the Ferrari. It's a 26 millimeter bulb. The Sangrata, which is a yellow mm -hmm. two-tone 24 millimeter. And what I would call a Galaxy, but they call Mysterious Space, yeah. 26 millimeter fan knot. Uh, and, and I'm glad you mentioned the fan, by the way, because we have the bulb next to it. You can't probably see exactly the difference here between the two because this was recently lathered and it will be again soon. But um, this comes, this particular model comes in both bulb and fan. Right, and the fan, which we were saying before, mm -hmm. is just a flatter top. It has less of a, a shape to, at, at the top and it, it allows for a different type of lathering and there's different mm -hmm. people that prefer fan knots over bulbs. That's right, some people say they like uh, um, the bulb knots for bowl lathering more, which we'll talk about at some point. Uh, some people say they like the, the fan style more for face lathering, um, and uh, the splay is a bit different. Um, and you know, over uh, the next series of videos, we're gonna make sure to try to uh, highlight some of those attributes for you. Um, but uh, I think it's, it's certainly worth pointing out that these knots differ in shape that, uh, when it's fan versus bulb, and obviously they differ in size. Right. So let's lather. All right. And then while we lather, we can talk about the brand a little bit more. So, Jared, this is West Coast Shaving, our West Coast Shaving number nine Denali, which mm -hmm. is a spearmint. Uh, and I have the chiseled face Sherlock, which is a tobacco leather and dirt. Dirt! <laughs> Look at that, a little dirt when they shave. And because we don't have a. We're not in a bathroom, we have this handy paper bowl. This isn't a bathroom. <laughs> this time we think, wait, 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 I'll take the fan on this time. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm here for the Ferrari, like I said, so. Um, what are you doing? I am wetting the brush. Wow. <laughs> Normally you don't use Gatorade to soak these things, but today, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Normally you do this in a sink, of course, and in a bathroom, probably, sometimes a shower, perhaps. Um, just in case you don't know, you haven't used these brushes, uh, the synthetic knot, for example, um, really what you're doing, you can wet just the tips, you can wet all the, the fibers, it doesn't really matter so much. Afterwards, give it a couple of shakes. Um, you're, you're not looking to uh, have a bunch of water dripping out when you first try to load your brush. Right, you can always add water, but you can't take water out. I mean, you can lather furiously after, I guess, and try to <laughs> try to make up for it. But yes, you are definitely right. Yeah. Um, different people have different uh, preferred loading times. Different soaps seem to benefit from um, using more or less of the product. Um, I almost always overload. I'm a serial overloader. Um, I'm going to try to be a little bit more responsible in my loading time at the moment. Um, one of the things that I look for. Uh, is to see how pasty it is. And what I mean is, when I stick my finger in the side there, it stays put. And so I know it's, it's pasty, and to me that means there's enough product in the brush to begin the, the lathering process. I'm gonna wet my hand a little bit, just like this were a, a wet bowl bottom or a, a face being, um, having some water on it, um, after you get out of the shower, for example, or having washed it. Do a lot of back and forth. I, yeah, I guess um, on my face I find I do what you're doing. I do the the circular um, and I you know pressing about halfway. Um, but yeah, on my hand I seem to be more of a painter. Mm, fair enough. So while we're lathering, talk a little bit about the brand. The the best part of this brand is the price point. So the the least expensive brush is at $11, the most expensive I think is 19 but definitely under 20 and there's a, a lot of hair in these synthetic knots. So we start, the smallest one is a 22 millimeter 
and the biggest ones are 30 millimeters, real monsters here, and um, the majority of them are 26 millimeter, which you don't see in, in most of these more traditional brands. That's right. Um, I am a big proponent of the monster knot. Uh, to me, it provides a, a um, more luxurious uh, feel. Um, it holds more lather, which I think is a reward in and of itself. It's no right, there's no right answer. Um, some people prefer the smaller knots. They are able to control uh, where they are lathering on their face a bit better. They can avoid um, painting their walls and ceiling uh, with <laughs> lather. I don't think that's necessary because I use lather that happens to be white and I have white walls in my bathroom. So for me, it works out just fine, but you know, your mileage may vary as they say. And I think a lot of people choose smaller knots because of the price. Yep. Uh, there's, it's much more expensive or it has been much more it expensive. Has been, right. So it's nice to be able to have the opportunity now to have a bigger knot without really the investment. Okay. So let, let's see, you've got a, a pocket full of something there. Yeah. This is, uh, I'm really happy with this lather actually. Yeah. The, the knot did a great job of making it pretty quick. I'm, uh... Smell the dirt. Smell the grassy <laughs> dirt, right? No. Yeah. And I was cleaning the brush earlier. I spent the <laughs> spearmint was like, uh, really wafting from the... I like the scent a lot. Um, I had not smelled this one before, uh, this, this, uh, filming began today, and, um, I'm, I'm digging it. Um, this is peaky. This is how it should look if you were to come up with an ideal looking lather, in my opinion. Um, Right, you spend the time doing the, the lathering. In this case, it was just on our, our hands, but um, if you were doing it on your, on your face, you'd be really trying to get it under the hairs, and that's what the lathering process does. Um, and so it's not, it's not wasted time. It's actually part of how to set up a great shave. Yeah, and I, I think that's it. This is uh, Yaki Brushes. Yeah, this is Yaki Brushes. And uh, hey, <laughs> nice doing business with you.